Do you have you met Deepak? Oh, I shook his hand this morning, and I. You said, know, it was very interesting. Uh, Deepak went with Maharshi's blessing. He went off to work independently of the organization, mm -hmm. and as far as I know, he's always maintained an attitude of greatest respect for what he learnt from Mahashi. Mm -hmm. Now, the way he learnt, and he got invited to um, to teach, was extraordinary. I think he relates it somewhere, possibly in his first book, um, The Return of the Rishi. He, he was invited, after he'd learnt to meditate, to a meeting in Washington, D.C., probably uh, the one that occurred on January the 12th, 1985, sometime like that. could have been a year later. Mm -hmm. And he had gone down slightly unwillingly. He'd booked a flight back, mm -hmm. and he realized at a certain point that he had to leave or he'd miss his flight. So he was sitting at the very back of the hall. He gets up, Mahashi's in full flow of a speech, and he walks out of the back door. To his astonishment, Mahashi was there in the back of the, in the hall behind the back to meet him and greet him and to say, please would you come and work for us. He didn't know that Mahashi even knew he was at the meeting, nor who he was. He couldn't figure it out at all. Mm -hmm. And he got this instant invitation, which he had to think about very carefully before he accepted. He said, give me time to think about it. Um, as I remember it being reported. But he had an extraordinarily close relationship mm -hmm. with Mahashi Mahesh Yogi, and he discusses it in a great deal of detail. Mm -hmm. And I think that when the funeral came around, um, uh, the cremation in 2008, February, he, he came... Well, he wanted to come. He actually published some amazing memoirs. Um, and particularly what his children had said about being um, with Mahashi as young children. Very, very deeply memorable experiences. Beautiful, mm -hmm. wonderful. Um, that for all of us who spent more than, say, two or three months with Mahashi's big group in the International Center, even if we weren't able to interact with him in detail mm -hmm. much of the time, but just being in the group, listening to lectures every evening, was a very, very profound experience, which one realized that you absolutely couldn't parallel it with anything else. And maybe this is a slightly indiscreet story, but it was a situation where you had people with you know, Americans and French people and Canadians mm -hmm. and Australians and English and Germans, lots and lots of Germans and some Swiss and Italians. None of us had any real spiritual depth from our upbringing. But the whole thing was so deepening and so transforming mm -hmm. that people who were there for even three months was an experience that kept them regular in their advanced programs for the next 20 years, because it was just profound. Good.